All right, guys, Hellbass here, and today we're closing out 2020, and I want to talk about my top five MVP baits of 2020. You know, those baits that I can always rely on to get me a big bite, a good bite in a tournament, scare away a skunk on a bad outing. Well, these are going to be those top five baits that put the most fish in my boat in 2020. I want to start out with a couple honorable mentions, some baits that were really key, but they weren't necessarily my mainstays, but they were an important part of my year, and specifically my tournament year. One of those honorable mention baits was the tube, and specifically the stupid tube. The stupid tube carried me through and produced almost all of my key fish at the Vermilion Northern Divisional. It was a smallie wrecker. Uh, if you're not familiar with the, the stupid tube, it's a way that you can rig a you know, two and a half, three inch tube, Texas rigged internally, make it weedless, almost like a shaky head tube. If you're not familiar with the stupid tube, I'll make sure there's a link in the description below up in the cards. I've done a great video tutorial on how to rig the stupid tube and when you'd want to use the stupid tube. So if you're interested in the stupid tube, check that video. All right, my second honorable mention, half ounce War Eagle spinnerbait, the Screaming Eagle variety. This bait was super key down in Pickwick, gave me a really good shot to be in contention after day one and caught every single keeper I weighed down on Pickwick on this spinnerbait. So it was a really good bait. I just want to give this bait a special shout out because it was really instrumental in me finding fish and catching good fish down at Pickwick. If you haven't seen those videos, just go back and look at the past couple videos and you'll see uh, how much this bait shined on Pickwick. And now let's get to the actual top five MVP baits. Starting at five, number five, I would say the bladed jig or the chatter bait was super key for me all year long from very early pre-spawn up until the very end in the fall, I was nice catching fish. quality fish on the chatterbait. Two main chatterbaits that I use a lot, the Z-Man Jackhammer, which is a, a mainstay for many of you and a lot of anglers. Pretty pricey bait, but a close second was the Z-Man Custom, which is a pretty affordable bait. I think it's only like eight bucks. I'll put links in the description for all of these baits in case you want to add any of these to your arsenal for 2021 and want to step up your game with any of these baits. Here's the jackhammer in the packaging compared to the chatterbait custom. Both great options. I use them both interchangeably. When everybody in the world is throwing a jackhammer, I sneak in with the chatterbait custom. This white one was really good for me. Put some key smallmouth in my boat in tournaments. Uh, and then anytime I was around largemouth, this green pumpkin version was really awesome. More often than not, I use these Arsenal Tactical Minnows, which are these tiny little paddle tail baits which are almost like a fluke as far as the amount of displacement in the water. They are a really great option that gives your bait just the right amount of kick without taking away from what the chatterbait does. That bait gets back there and just really gets excited, uh, that tail in the water. So if you're looking for a chatterbait trailer with just the right amount of kick, check out these Arsenal Tactical Minnows. Number four for me was probably the stick worm. Whether it be the yum dinger that I buy in 50 packs all the time, or when the bite was tough and I really need something extra, I leaned on the Maxent General a lot of the time. Those are probably my main two stick baits that I use almost exclusively. Whether that's wacky rigging those, fishing them on a jig worm, or light Texas rig, skipping them shallow, fishing them deep. Really, anytime I needed to get a bite, needed to finesse a fish when they wouldn't take my bigger, more power fishing offerings, a lot of times I'd fall back to a stick worm. Uh, and when nothing else could get me a bite, this was kind of my cleanup, kind of my safe go-to if you're curious about this little chartreuse head, we'll talk about all that in a future video. But if you know, you know. Number three, the D-Bomb. The Missile Baits D-Bomb really became my go-to flipping bait this year. It kind of replaced uh, some of the other plastics like a beaver and things like that. For whatever reason, this bait was really good to me. Most often, uh, I was flipping it on a 3 8 to 3 quarter to 1 ounce tungsten flipping weight with a bobber stop and then using a ring EWG style. This got me a ton of baits early through the year, all through the year, flipping around grass, flipping around wood, flipping around docks, large mouth, small mouth. The two main baits that I used a lot were this super bug, which is kind of a tramp stab or 1099 black, blue, green pumpkin laminate, and then, or some kind of green pumpkin, natural flash, uh, green pumpkin flash like this. So you get yourself some green pumpkin, you get yourself a dark color, you get to flipping the missile baits T-bomb was an awesome date for me in 2020. And I know it'll put fish for you in the boat if you haven't checked them out. Let's talk about something that's a ton of fun. Not only is this one of my favorite baits to throw, but it's one of the, my favorite ways to fish. And that's topwater frog fishing. So let's pop open this box and I'll show you my couple favorites from 2020. 
Early in the year, I started out catching a lot of fish on both Terminator and the Stanford Boom Boom Frogs. For me, it comes down just a few colors. You get yourself some light colors and some dark color. Uh, lake fishing, down there in southern Minnesota, river fishing, uh, frog fishing was really good earlier this year for me. All the way through up until leech. Leech was really amazing. Uh, had a ton of success and really carried me through those tournaments up north. Up at Leech, when everybody was throwing a frog, that's when I really started to experiment with some of my oldie but goodie frogs that aren't really being made anymore. I did really well on the Arena Action Invasion Swamp Donkey, the Evolved Nervous Walker, and the old True Tux and Mad Max frog. Um, all great baits. There's a ton of good frogs these days that will really replace those, but I had some really confidence in throwing these old baits. But as you can see, with my box being super packed full of frogs, I'm a big fan. But the frog not only produced a lot of bites this year, but produced big bites. Late in the year, I tried this Kalen's Lily Soccer Frog. Pretty impressed. I'm definitely going to check this out more in 2021. But this frog, affordable, and it's pretty promising as something that can step up and take a spot in my box for 2021. Last but not least, my number one go-to bait, and it's been this way for years, no surprise in 2020, Bass Tech. Tungsten flipping jigs. I got a whole box full of them. I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites and talk about where and how I use them. All right, there it is in the package. This is a 3 8 Okeechobee Craw. This is one of my go tos, covers me in just about any water clarity that I go to. Anything from a little bit of stain to moderately clear. I can adjust my trailers. A lot of times I'll throw a D bomb, something like that, or a Speed Craw or a Menace Scrub. Uh, and if I'm in a clear water, I'll go with a lighter, more natural green color. And if I'm in dark and dingy water, I'll go with a black and blue or darker trailer. You know, more natural presentations or I need more subtle or clear water, I will make up or use some natural colors like this black, brown, green pumpkin jig. Um, there it is with the speed craw. I love using this for any type of cover. I will use this for flipping docks, skipping docks, and anything from one foot to super shallow wood, laydowns, anything like that. You can check out a recent video I talked about my favorite setups for dock fishing. And I will fish this out flipping grass. I will flip deep edges. I will drag it in deep rocks. But this was a super consistent producer for me. And no surprise, I would say jigs for pigs. But no matter what, any time this season, if I need a bite or a big bite, I'm probably going to have a jig in my hand almost all the time. There's not typically a single term of the year that I won't go out with a jig on my deck to make at least a few casts at some point during the tournament or a fun fishing trip. Well, there you go. Those are my top five best performing, most valuable baits of 2020. I'm sure I'll find some new baits for 2021, but these are baits that are probably always going to be at my rotation no matter what. Hope you learned something today. If you want to continue to catch more bass and suck less, consider checking out this video right here. And until next time, tight lines.